Hello, my name's Lizzie and I'm a receptionist here at Warren House Vets. I have started my veterinary care assistant course so my job is now split between the clinical side and reception. Today I am the kennel assistant. We start admitting at 7.30 in the morning. All the paperwork is usually done at the pre-operative assessment. So after admitting the first patient, I'll stay here until we settle in the rest of the patients. I need to make sure all the paperwork is filled in, operations correspond to the theatre list and that the patients have their ID collars with their name and operation. This helps to avoid any potential errors we may get. For example, if we have two black cats, one for dental, one for castration, it's very easy to confuse which one is which. We have a morning meeting at 8 o'clock with the team where we go through the list and any anaesthetic or surgical concerns. For that, I need to have the first patient ready, their observations done and if there is any issues it is then flagged up to the operating vet. Whilst the team then continues on with the list, I make sure all the dogs have been walked to avoid any accidents in the kennels. I also text the owners to let them know that their babies have settled in fine so that they don't worry too much. Once the first patient returns from theatres, I help with the recovery. We usually have student nurses or registered nurses on kennels recovering since they can administer the medication, but we also have members in training who are occasionally allocated to help, like myself. The rationale for close monitoring of recovery is that although it mostly goes fine, it is the immediate post-operative period where serious complications can manifest, such as inter-abdominal bleeding. That's why we monitor regularly until they are fully awake and then on an hourly basis. High-risk patients such as older or obese pets, brachycephalic or pregnant dogs are monitored continuously during the recovery by nurses. Throughout the day I'll text clients with updates. Sometimes people appreciate frequent messages with pictures and sometimes they are just reassured by the first message. Once they are awake we tend to take them for a walk and offer them something to eat and drink. It is not safe for the dogs and cats to eat and drink before the surgery because they can vomit whilst they're under the anaesthetic and end up with aspiration and nasty chest infections. But once they are out, their appetite is a good indicator of their well-being. Theatre lists often run into the afternoon. We try to finish them around 3pm so there is enough time to properly clean the theatres and sort out surgical kits. I need to organise times for discharge, so I liaise with the owners when it suits them to pick up their babies. So morning patients can go in the early afternoon as long as they have recovered well and everything is fine. For the discharge, we prepare a little goodie bag with the information about the recovery, what to expect, contacts with Vidivet, which is a mobile phone app we have signed up to as a practice, where the client can ask questions, send pictures and videos for a, a vet to look at, which is 24 seven and it eliminates the guesswork for any usual symptoms. In these bags, we also include a tin of gastro food as well to make sure the initial food is gentle on their stomach to reduce chances of vomiting. And lastly, most patients require a cone or a bodysuit to prevent them from disrupting their surgical wound. This is all included in the price of the surgery. Reception do courtesy calls the following day to make sure there is no issues and answer any possible queries. Although our stitches are absorbable, so we don't need to remove them, we still tend to check the wound and general well-being on day two or three. We offer one to two follow-up appointments depending on the case. These are included in the price of the surgery, just like the pre-operative assessment. At the end of the day, I clean up all the kennels, the floors, the surfaces, the bowls and sort the last of the laundry. We tend to have quite a lot of washing, so this has to be done throughout the day to make sure we stay on top of it and manage it. We disinfect all the kennels and get them ready for another day. By the end of the day, the theatre nurses prepare and collate all the paperwork, collars, etc. for patients on the following day and at 7.30 we start it all again. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to post them in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.